Hi and welcome back. So I thought I'd liven things up a little bit because I don't know I was kind of feeling a little bit on a downer from my last two videos. Well not so much my depth year but the one about the decks I'm using and my stalker card and all that stuff that I thought that you know what before October comes to a close um, I intended to um, do this video a little bit earlier in October um, but here we are and um, let's go ahead and do it um, as you could tell from the title of this video what I'm going to share with you is in fact a collection because it's considering that all these books are out of print um, I have been collecting Sybil, uh, books by Sybil Leak um, 20 years now it's 20 years I've been collecting books by Sybil Leak. The first book I ever um, read by Sybil Leak was um, Sybil Leak's Book of Herbs. And I had borrowed it from the Toronto Library um, when I lived in Toronto. And I loved it so much. And it, it's out of, it was out of print already, uh, even back then. And... Um, I really, like, I had renewed it I don't know how many times and I got to the point where I, I knew I couldn't live without this book, at least portions of this book, uh, at least one portion of the book that I actually photocopied that book and I placed it in this thing. So starting with chapter 9 of Sybil Leak's Book of Herbs. Actually, I didn't photocopy it. My husband, who was then my um, fiance, yeah, I think we were engaged. Maybe we weren't yet, but he um, copied it for me, and I've had it in here ever since. Years and years later, um, I did end up finding the. Um, this was a hardback. This was this was photocopied from the hardback of hardcover book, uh, Sybil Leak's Book of Herbs. I did end up finding one. Um, I don't remember, it's not Powell's because it doesn't have the Powell sticker on the back. So this was either um, eBay or Amazon. So Sybil Leak's Book of Herbs. I have to say of all of them, I think that this one is will always be my favorite because it was the first one I read. I also have, I have a Sybil Leak book. Um, I have the hardcover of this book. This book was still available in the late 90s. It was still in print. And it's Diary of a Witch. No, not Diary of a Witch. Doesn't matter. I'll tell you which one it is. Um, okay, see? Well, yeah. I think Diary of, a, uh, Diary of a Witch and The Complete Art of Witchcraft by Sybil Leak one if not both of these were still in print in the late 90s um and i got the hardcover um of these two i love her the picture of her on the back on the dust jacket back so these two um and then the rest of them are in no particular order so this is sybil leak how to be your own astrologer um sybil leak Telepathy, a respectable phenomenon. These books, you know, they do pop up now and then on Amazon, like secondary market kind of thing. Uh, they do pop up on eBay occasionally. Um, sometimes they go for like really stupid expensive and sometimes not. And this one, the Sybil Leak book, uh, book to fortune telling, book of fortune telling. Um, this one, I had a previous copy, which of course I just recycled because it was missing an entire chapter, like someone had just pulled out the chapter. This one is intact. My other Sybil Leak book is How to Succeed Through Astrology. And then there's, uh, and there's, um, what else? Oh yeah, Sybil Leak's Astrological Guide to Successful Everyday Living. Um, let me see. I'm just looking for if there's any other. Oh, 
my life in astrology, I think. Yep. Sybil Week, my life in astrology. This was, um, I think this was a, because of the plastic cover on the dust jacket, I'm guessing that this was originally a uh, library copy that I purchased secondhand. The most recent book I added to my collection was just um, this past year, and it was this one. I think I paid this one a dollar or two dollars at a secondhand bookstore um, in a town, next town, a couple of towns over from where I live. And this one um, is photographs by Stephen Lee, her son. So it's like a, it's a coffee table book. And um, I'm happy that I found it, especially for how ridiculously cheap I paid it. Um, one more, okay, I got two more astro astrology books. Uh, Sybil Leake's Astrological Guide to Successful Everyday Living. I may have shown this all already. It's not a duplicate. I think I just already showed it to you and put it in the wrong pile. And Moon Signs, uh, Lunar Astrology by Sybil Leake. So this is just showing you because I, I, you know, this I don't want this video. Like this is one of those. Uh, this is part of that series, four books for my bookshelf, but I'm showing you more than four because it's October and I wanted to show you all my Sybil Leak books. Um, this one I've already shown you. So all that's left is these two and th these are, oh my goodness. <laughs> the Tower of Books just came tumbling down. Okay, the last two. Um, I was so happy um, when I scored these. I scored these years and years ago. Um, Sibylik, The Night Voyagers, You and Your Dreams. Um, look at the giant print on this. So one of those large, you know, large print books. And, um, yeah. And last but not least, Civil Leak on Exorcism, Driving Out the Devils. So this was my Civil Leak book collection. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for the ones I'm missing. Uh, she was a very prolific author. Um, I think I read somewhere that she put out something like 60 books. So um, what I have is a very small sample of, it's a fraction of what she put out there's um her book of curses is one that i'm on the lookout for um, i see it i think i have it in my um amazon.ca wish list but it's like stupid expensive so i'm just gonna wait till it comes to me some other way <laughs> secondhand bookstore or i see it for a more um, affordable price so that was my Sibylik book collection. Um, if it seemed a little rushed, um, I apologize. I didn't mean to uh, for it to come across a little rushed. I'm just feeling a little hyper because I've had quite a bit of coffee. Um, do you um, have any books by Sibylik? Um, I love her. She's the first witch I ever saw on TV. I saw her on TV, I think, even before I saw the show Bewitched. Um, I saw her on TV. I was, I think I might have been four. Um, and she was on a, she was on some kind of show, like a talk show, right? Um, and this was in the early 1970s. And um, she, she was a guest on this talk show, and she arrived with this big black bird. Um, her, his, he was a big black, Corvid, a jackdaw, um, named Hotfoot Jackson. And um, my mom used to love the, uh, when people would ask me when I was four what I wanted to be when I grow up, I would say, uh, Sibylik, all one word. 
and I wanted um, a blackbird um, and I would name him Hotwood Jackson. So you could see that the formative years were, um, were there um, between Sybil Leake and um, my love of Corvids. Thanks for tuning in um, and have a beautiful day.